came out today to do a plethora of different knife and actually hatchet testing and this video specifically is going to be the Mora Bushcraft Black. I've had my eyeball on this for a long time, pulled the trigger on it, I'm excited to use this one. One of the first things I notice about this one is out of the box it's nice and sharp. But that said, it's not as sharp as I think most people will want and expect from this type of knife. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's something that if you've got sharpening skills, you can take care of. I haven't actually done that yet. I haven't had the time. So we're just using it as it comes from the box or from the shop. Like I said, could be a little bit sharper for this process, but all in all, not bad. Something that should be easily rectified on the stones at home. Now, one thing that this Mora has specifically is it's got a very, very sharp 90 degree angle on that spine, specifically to throw sparks. The other Mora I have, well, just as a demonstration, let's take a look. We're looking at two different worlds here. So you can see this. You probably can't see it on film, but it's just barely, barely any sparks. But I can throw a little bit. So without any modification, you're going to have to use the blade, which I don't like to do. Uh, if you've never done that, it will destroy your blade. Now, in comparison, I haven't tried this yet, but I can already tell you it's going to throw those sparks like no other. Very, very easy. And again, the reason that is, is this spine is uh, got a sharp, sharp 90 degree angle on it. See, there you go, that spine works extremely well to get those fire stills where you want them to be. Now this is my first run at this thing and so far I'm really liking it. Again this will be a continued process of using it and then a full review will be given later but this is just kind of some initial first thoughts that uh, I think will be kind of fun. Now one thing I really like about this handle it's very ergonomic and the rubberized texture on it I really like. It's very uh, aggressive in um, gripping your hand and becoming a good grip. Now we know these Mora knives are not a full tang, so a lot of this wood processing you might want to be a little bit careful with it. But we're going to try it anyway. Now again, what I'm thinking of in these processes, especially with these Mora knives, is if you're really out and you need to be doing this, you really need to get into the center of that wood. What I would do is I would create some type of wedge so that you're minimizing the abuse or the blows that your knife is taking. So at this point, actually, I just drive it down enough to uh, get a wedge in there. And then from that point, I'm going to take out this knife. Now this knife specifically, again, because it's not full tang, I'm going to treat it a little more carefully than I otherwise would in comparison to some of my other knives.
One thing, this uh, table that I built kind of took a beating over the winter. We are now in spring, so I'm going to use a, a dead part of a tree that came down and use that to prop it up, but we'll process that with the Mora Bushcraft Black. Now what I'm going to do is just use one of these kind of sections that create a Y and we'll trim everything down to use it as a uh, prop just up in the back to help create a better system back there. Now I do have a saw on me, and of course, that would be a much easier way to go, but I always have to preface this, just in case someone's kind of rolling in, maybe not be as familiar with the videos, but we are testing blades, so that's why I'm just kind of beaver chewing through here. Gives me a good sense of edge retention, ergonomics, all that kind of good stuff. It also gives you a good idea of what the knife can handle. For example, some of the things I'm thinking of is if I'm going on a specific trip and let's say it's just gonna be a lot of miles covered, then you know maybe I leave the saw at home because I'm not expecting to do a lot of wood processing and I just wanna bring a knife, which this knife would be ideal for that situation given its light weight. One of the advantages of not having a full tang blade because there are certainly some downsides to it as well. <laughs> it's always a challenge to get the proper cutting technique that I want but get good shots of it on film as well there that kind of stabilizes my tables to some degree what I've realized is this stick needs to be a little more robust Just at first blush with this knife, I've really liked it so far. You've got a four inch blade on there, high carbon steel. It's about a 59 to 60 on the hardness scale. The blade thickness is really quite thin. So it's gonna be a great slicer. And again, that 90 degree spine on the back is wicked for throwing those sparks out of there. Handle material on it is a rubber, and it's a very grippy rubber, which I like, and the ergos so far have been great. Coming in at about 5.75 ounces in this thing, so certainly a lightweight blade for its size. Again, that's because of the uh, construction. Not a full tang on this blade, but more of a rat tail design. So plus and minuses that uh, result from that, very lightweight certainly not going to be as robust as some of the other full tang knives out there but pick your poison uh, with this i don't know i'm, I'm kind of glad it's in my uh, inventory at this point there you go that's just a quick look at the mora bushcraft black uh, so far with my limited use a quick look that's all this is uh, i i like the blade it's got good edge retention i wish it did come sharper from the factory but then again, that's something I can easily fix on my own, so not a big deal at all. Ergos seem good, the grip on this seems really good, so I look forward to testing this over the next few months and then giving a review. And uh, it'll be in interesting to see the way I think about it now versus later and see how that changes. But uh, so far I like it. Thanks much guys, see you later.